vehicle spawner, enter name manually, and then we type in RS7C8. Hit enter. There we go. Alright, so to do this, you need three main things Open IV, Script Hook V, and Script Hook V.net. There's one more that I use as well, along with that, but that's completely optional. Now, links to all of these will be in the description below, so you don't have to worry there. Start downloading each of them one by one. This one here, Script Hook V, just that button there, Script Hook V.net. This one isn't entirely needed, but it's good to have it, especially when you're installing mods and when you're installing future mods. Um, it's mainly used for scripts and stuff within GTA, so don't have to worry about it too much, but it is good to have it. So about this one though, you do need, if you just read below here, you do need Net Framework uh, 4.8 as well as the uh, Visual C++. But if you keep your Windows, if you, well, if you have Windows 10 and you keep it up to date, then you don't really need to worry about that. But if you don't know whether or not you have it, just click on these two. So if you click on that and just download that and then click on the next one and download either x86 or x64, it's probably x64, which means a 64-bit operating system. So that's if you don't know whether or not you have it, it'll just tell you that you have it or you have the latest version when you go on to install it. Um, so make sure you have that before you download scripthookv.net download that uh, and the last one that i use is called enhanced native trainer now what a trainer is is that it's basically a menu kind of like what it shows here which allows you to access the mods in game now if you go back to scripthookv you can see that it says plus native trainer so this is a basic version i use this one so to download script v.net you just click on the download button here scroll down and it says script v.net.zip just download that so once you've downloaded all of them i've got it on my desktop here so let's start off by installing open iv just double click on the setup file it's gonna say don't run but it's got more, more info and say run anyway english i accept continue here you can choose where you want to install it. I am going to install it. Uh, oh, no, you can't choose where you want to install it. It's just here. So install, just press continue. Um, yeah, do you want to continue? Yep, yeah, go ahead. And it's just going to install for you there. The reason why I'm doing this, by the way, or the reason why I'm making this video is because I've made videos on how to use a steering wheel with GTA 5, which, you know, yes, you can do that. You can find that up there somewhere or in the description below. Um, but when you're when you're using a steering wheel, it's so much nicer when you can use the car that you actually want to use or actually want to drive. Maybe it's a car that you have in real life, or maybe a car that you want to drive in real life in game. Um, so that's the reason why I'm making this video, and I've had quite a few requests as well. So let's close this. So that should be installed. So the first thing we're gonna do now is open that up wherever it is. So let me just find it. So there's a shortcut right there so if I just double click on that so start off by going to Windows it's gonna tell me to find my GTA 5 location now this can be found quite easily if you have Steam so let me find open up Steam here so if you go into your Steam library find GTA 5 on the left hand side here go to properties right click properties local files on the top here browse local files then this is the directory for GTA 5 so you can just double click on this folder copy control C go down to open IV and paste it right in there okay you can't paste okay so what you can do is instead just hit browse and okay for me it's actually already come up here so what I'll do is just sort of follow the same. So Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. And I'm just going to select this folder because it's in that folder. So all this is doing is trying to find this file here. GTA 5 launcher. Well, the launcher is there, but the, the actual application. So that's what you're trying to locate for OpenIV. And once you select the folder, the correct main folder for GTA 5, it'll just sort everything out there. Then you just hit continue. 
it's going to say don't forget to back up your original files before editing. Now, what I do, right, is, so when you install GTA 5, I usually make two copies. One that's original, so that's completely vanilla. As soon as you install GTA 5, you just make a straight copy from that. So there's no mods, no nothing, just, just completely clean. Uh, it also means you can go online pretty much easily because you know after installing mods you don't want to be going online in case you get banned so that's something you don't want to do so that's why I installed two here um, so that's my form of backup um, so it's just reminding you hit continue it does mean though that if you are going to do that you, you're going to need like 120 gigs extra of spare space um, so it's it is better to somehow make sure you do have that much space just just so that you do have that backup as a last resort as an absolute last resort you can't fix something that you are messing around with the files then you can go back to that all right so let's let's minimize everything apart from open iv so we've got open iv open up here right first thing you want to do absolute first thing is go up to the right here so you want to go hit this window with a blue tick on it the asi manager you need to install that that it's gonna say yeah you want to create a mods folder this is basically another form of backup it basically keeps all your mods within one folder so that it's sort of separate and it's not like completely tied in with gta whereas it gets to a point where you can't find what you've done so it's better to keep this mods folder so allow edit mode for all kinds inside um yeah this is just another form of protection you only edit files within this folder if you want to click that but i'm going to keep that off just for the time being um but yeah you can keep that one on and just press yes open camera you don't actually need to install you can choose to install it it's just uh, it, it just extends the boundary of the free camera within gta 5 but it's fine for me you don't actually need that so i'm just going to install those two and close that so now you can see there's a mods folder here a manual transmission that you won't get that unless you've got the steering wheel mod installed uh, update and all of that so let me just minimize this and then uh, let's close that. open up the GTA 5 main folder so in this folder you can see mods has now been installed up here first thing you want to do is copy right click update copy and paste that into the mods folder this may take some time so be patient so these first initial steps do take some time but after you do them when you want to install a car later on there's literally only two things you need to do just two things paste you literally just type something in and then paste the file and then that's it but you have to do this beginning bit in order to set your your game up to be able to install mods so once that's installed once that's pasted in you just go back and um also paste in x64 if you scroll down on this main folder scroll down and you go to x64e x64i and x64w now this is you don't absolutely need this as well but some mods also use these files in order to work so you also want you really want them in the folder as well so paste that in there as well all right so that's open iv done for now let's move on to the next one script hook v this is easy if you've got winrar this makes it easier just open it up um Close that you don't need the uh, well it's got a readme file but you obviously don't need it if you're watching this now remember how I talked about the trainer I'm not going to be using the native trainer for scriptic v so I'm not going to select that but I am going to select this and this so right click copy file to clipboard go back to my main uh, GTA folder wherever it is uh, I usually keep a shortcut on my desktop there it is there you go and then I'm just going to paste it in the main folder, not in the mods folder, just in the main folder. And I've already got it in here, so I'm just going to hit replace the files in the destination anyway. Now the next one is scripthookv.net. Open that up. Uh, and the ones you want to install, I'm just going to open, extract this. What is this? This one here. So the ones you want from this are 
that, that, and that. Just those three. Right click copy, go back to the main folder and paste them in there. Also replace the files, I've already got it in there so just replace the files. You won't get that obviously if you're installing it for the first time. Now that is also done. The last one is enhanced native trainer. We're just going to paste this in there as well. Let me just extract this. And all we're going to paste are these two into there. So right click copy. Uh, where's the GTA folder? I keep losing the GTA folder. And paste it into your GTA folder. Right click, paste, replace. There we go. So that's pretty much done in terms of installing the trainer and the initial mods or the initial setup. We still have to choose a car to install. So the next thing is I use cars from a guy called Armada from GTA 5 mods. If you don't know what GTA 5 mods is, it's a site where you download mods, various mods usually where I get all my cars from that you see on my video and this author he usually has really high quality cars and that are very reliable they work first time out the box um, so and you may have even seen me use this M3 this is his page by the way he's got various cars but you may have seen me use this M3 in my uber driving video where I drive as a taxi driver with uh, a Tesla and M3 so that's I mean the video itself did pretty well so if you want to check it out you know that's it's it's about <laughs> it's about it's probably down there it's probably up there so check it out but yeah i use his car i couldn't praise that enough um so what i'm going to do is i am going to select one of his cars here uh i think i'll choose um just to show how how easy this works i'm just going to choose a random i'm going to choose this s class all right s class is a pretty nice s class you know it's really well that is pretty well rendered actually to be fair well, that is nice Yep, so that's yep, and we're gonna we're gonna have this in game, right? So just like this car, you can have any other car. Obviously, you can choose, you don't have to buy and get it from this author, but I would highly recommend you do. Uh, because it's just it's just very easy. Uh, but it does work similar ways if you're gonna get it from anyone else uh, on this site. So if you do, do have a particular car that this author doesn't have, then you can go and search for it and it generally works the same way unless they have instructions that state otherwise. So this is the car, let's hit download on this. But before I hit download, what you will find on various other cars, especially on this site, is that you'll say add-on and replace. Add-on is really the one that you wanna go for because that just puts a whole car into the game. Whereas replace, all that does is changes the, the skin of an existing car in game. So you might find that if there's a stock car in game and all it does is just change that car. The mechanics and all that will be still be the same and the performance will still be the same but it, all it changes is the skin. You don't want that, you want a complete add-on. So find one that I do say add-on, hit download. All right, so this is the car itself. If we just extract this to another folder so it's just easier to see, there we go. So if we open this up, open this up, there we go. Now it's all in here. Usually it does also have, so this is the add-on and replace. We're obviously gonna go for the add-on and yeah usually it always has a readme file in here but obviously if you know if you find that a little bit more technical and difficult to use that's what this video is for so first thing you want to do is this folder you want to right click copy we are we are going to have to go into the readme files by the way because we need to copy and paste from something from there but we just copy this folder go into your um, go into your GTA folder again so let's minimize that open up GTA go into mods go into update x64 DLC packs and then paste it just in here let's paste it in there and you've got the car in here now what we need to do is allow GTA to be able to access this car so all we have to do in that case is go back to open IV, let's open that up, it should be minimized already, and then go into the mods folder, 
go into update go into update rpf or the update dot rpf you won't see this when you're opening up on a normal folder by the way that's why you have to do it through open iv there you go um, it's also gonna warn you about edit mode which we are gonna have to enable in a minute um, and then go into common uh, data and then scroll all the way down until you see DLC list dot XML so let's hit edit mode on the top here yes um, and then right click on this and hit edit now we are gonna have to paste something if we scroll all the way down we're gonna have to paste another line into here just so that we can access it within GTA so to find that line so go back to the readme file within the car folder open up the readme file got it here and then copy this copy go back to open iv and just paste it on the end there and we're good hit save so the one thing we do need is to be able to know what to type in order to pull the car out so that's e300 so we'll remember that it's pretty easy enough e300 We'll close that um, we can close the open IV as well and now it's all done it's actually all done all we need to do is load up GTA and see if it works which I'm pretty sure it will because if it doesn't then this video is kind of ruined <laughs> so let's go GTA 5 and then play all right so we're in game now so we now need to use the trainer in order to pull the car out so we're gonna have to press F4 then press escape because of this because of this banner on top here and then use the the numbers on your numpad so two four six and eight because they're also arrows to go through the native trainer so I'm pressing two to go down and eight to go up so we're gonna go into vehicles vehicle spawner you hit five by the way to hit it's basically an enter so we hit five and then enter name manually and then this is where we're going to type in E300 and please work there we go <laughs> we can hit F4 again and escape again and then there we go this is our car that was pretty easy to be fair that was um, there, there's your S class just like that you can do any other cars so if I just jump in here we can is my controller working oh it, it is okay cool so it's literally just this and it's driving just like any other car. my driving skills aren't the best at the moment so it's driving just like any other car and you can change view just I can't remember how to do it there you go and there we go that's it we, we can cruise around now you can download any car that you'd like obviously I do recommend uh, Armada's one on uh, on the page or obviously everything's linked below so go check it out um, and go download your cars go install your cars that you want it's I'm telling you it's this thing is easy yes you do have to do a little bit of work in the beginning but it's pretty easy after that all we now have to do to install a car is just paste these two files in so just to prove how easy it is to now install new cars and it's just a matter of doing two things i'm going to install another car this is an exclusive car by armada himself it's uh, only for his patrons unfortunately but if you do want it and if you do like it you can uh, find his patreon page let me show you so if you go onto his main page you can find his patreon here just right there and then uh, you can scroll down and the car that i'll be installing is this one here just now just to prove that it works this is i've tried this car already by the way and it's phenomenal it, the, the crackle from the exhaust is just too mad so if you just go through here this is one this is the one that i want to just prove to you that how easy it is now but yeah he's asked me to show you how good it is so if I again just like any other ones you go to add on and then you want to copy this one now remember how before it was E300 something to copy that uh, 
copy and then go into your GTA folder mods because we're keeping everything separate update DLC packs and then paste it in there and then it'll just pop down to the bottom here and then that, that's your file we can close that now now if we just open the readme file um, we want to just keep to the side because we obviously want to paste this in in a minute so let's open up open iv so open iv hit windows for gta 5 go into mods go into update go into update rpf common data scroll down dlc list um, obviously remember it's in edit mode enable edit mode and then right click edit and then paste that line just in there so right click copy and then paste it in there save just find out what we have to type in so we have to type in rs7c8 so just remember that close that we can also close open iv and then let me just load up gta once again just to show you that that's it all right so now that we're in game we just open this up we'll, we'll get out of here we've got some space hit f4 again open up the trainer press escape go down to vehicles vehicle spawner enter name manually and then we type in rs7c8 hit enter there we go that's how easy it is it's i'm telling you it's just that first bit that you need to sort of take your time and do then it's easy so let me show you how this car sounds because it's actually a bit too mad let me tell you you hear that crackle because that crackle is So yeah, this car, as I said, is exclusive. So if you do want it, um, go check his page out. Uh, and if, you, if you're that into it, then go ahead and support him. And um, support me <laughs> by subscribing. <laughs> but um, yeah, just yeah, go, go and check it out. Uh, hopefully this video helped. Um, but if you also want to find out how you can use your steering wheel on GTA, I've got a tutorial for that as well. Uh, it's done really well, so it, you know, it does work. So go check it out. Um, and hopefully you can use your steering wheel that you may already have or maybe you want to get a steering wheel using GTA. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, found it helpful. And I will, I will hopefully see you in my next one. Peace.